Throughout the week, we have observed and studied protists, specifically animal like protists. Protists are unicellular or simple multicellular eukaryotic organisms that are not plants, fungi, or animals. Protists are classified by the characteristics that make them fungus like, plant like, or animal like. Protists can be either autotrophs or heterotrophs. They use flagella, cilia, or pseudopodia for their mobility. They can reproduce either asexually, sexually, or both. The first protist we studied is Amoeba proteus, commonly known as Amoeba. Amoeba is under phylum protozoa. Amoebas use pseudopodia, or false feet, to move, extending their cytoplasm out and pulling the rest of their body forward in a worm-like motion, which is considered the most primitive type of animal movement. Amoebas take in food and oxygen through endocytosis, creating food vacuoles, which create energy and waste, which is then disposed of through exocytosis. Amoebas reproduce asexually through binary fission. The next protist, Paramecium caudatum, commonly known as Paramecium, is under phylum Ciliophora. Paramecium are unicellular organisms that commonly feed on bacteria and other microorganisms, such as algae and yeast, through phagocytosis. Paramecium are part of the cilia group because the cilia that covers its body enables it to move or swim around its environment. The cilia is able to propel the paramecium forward by moving in a whipping motion. When the paramecium hits an object, the cilia propels the paramecium backwards and then forwards again. The paramecium's mobility is a major part of its life. It has been calculated that the paramecium spends more than half of its energy on movement through water. As for reproduction, paramecium are capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction occurs in the paramecium through binary fission, which then leads to the cell dividing transversely. Asexual reproduction is more common in paramecium, and it often takes place about two to three times per day. Paramecium reproduce sexually under stressful conditions. This is also known as conjugation, when two paramecium fuse temporarily and exchange genetic material. Euglena gracilis, commonly known as Euglena, is under phylum Euglenophyta. Euglena swim using a single flagella which whips back and forth, propelling the microorganism forward. These small creatures obtain food in two manners, through their own system and the nutrients of other microorganisms. To produce food, they use a photosynthetic process and make energy from the sun's energy. The second manner is simply feasting on smaller microorganisms, such as amoeba. Euglena reproduce by mitosis. They split in half, usually in warm, nutrient-rich environments. Since euglena are unicellular, contain chloroplasts, move about, and sometimes consume other organisms, and have both plant-like and animal-like characteristics, they cannot be classified in plants or animal kingdoms, but rather, they are classified as protists. Stentor ceruleus, commonly known as stentor, is under phylum ciliophora. Stentors are heterotrophs and omnivorous. They eat other bacteria and sometimes they are able to eat small, multi-celled organisms. They move similar to the paramecium by beating the cilia that covers their body. They use their micronucleus for sexual reproduction, but they usually reproduce asexually through binary fission. Volvox globiter, commonly known as Volvox, is under phylum chlorophyta. Volvox live in colonies that consist of smaller daughter colonies. When those daughter colonies mature, the parent colony houses the daughter colony's births releasing them into the environment. Volvox can reproduce sexually or asexually. Another name for the reproduction of Volvox is oogamous, a form of reproduction by the union of mobile male and immobile female gametes. These protists also have two flagella that beat together, allowing the Volvox to roll through its freshwater habitats. In order to survive, these organisms have chloroplasts that allow them to make their own food through photosynthesis. Volvox are a model for development and have their own way of life to survive and reproduce.